Why do people adopt radical ideas? What's the psychology behind it? Why do people do it? What's going on with those people specifically? That's something that always interests me. And I have a story that really revealed it to me. It finally clicked after I had this interaction. So one time, I was talking to a person online. He was a communist. And we were talking about the free market. He told me the problems with the free market. And he said that people, when they get to the top, they will abuse their position. They will charge high prices. They're going to exploit people. And my response to that was, we have competition. That competition will make sure he cannot exploit his position. He cannot simply charge high prices. You have more options to pick from. And his response amazed me. Well, no, that cannot happen because they will just buy you out. And that was the moment it clicked for me. We were looking at the same thing, the economy, the free market. And we were looking at it from different perspectives. I was looking at it from a perspective of, I'm going to compete in it. I'm going to open up a business. Now I'm going to try and do my best to grow. That's how I viewed it. That's how I understood it. He understood it from a theoretical lens, a philosophical one that most specifically was disconnected from it. He lacked personal experience with these things. And that was the problem I realized. Sorry, I have to jump in right now, but I realized while I was editing this video, I accidentally left out the explanation as to why I came to this conclusion. So with the interaction with the communist, when he said a big company would just buy you out, he phrased it as if it was a bad thing, especially for the business itself, as if small businesses feared being bought out by like Amazon or Google or something like that. Like the previous owner of Twitch, he was horrified at the prospect of Amazon offering him a billion dollars. But if he actually was down on the ground working on these things, he would realize that what he said was absolutely insane. He would have realized that so many companies out there, this is their main purpose, their goal, their dream. It's to be bought out by a bigger company, which causes us to circle back right to the radical beliefs. Because with so many radical ideas, they're disconnected from the thing that they're talking about. Because at the end of the day, I don't have a problem with people becoming literate. They read, they become informed, they educate themselves. That's great, do that please. But the problem with the intellectual type is that they only do that. And then they're disconnected from the very thing that they're studying, they're talking about, they're speculating about, they're theorizing on. They're disconnected from it, so they lack that experience that gives them a reality check. I'll give you another example. People who are just chronically online, who talk about and just shit on women constantly. Now, I'm not trying to be a white knight from Milady. I have more conservative right-wing views about gender roles, men and women, all of the rest. But there are people who are chronically online, who do nothing but complain about women, attack women, and they come up with views about women views on how they operate, why they do the things they do, and a lot of it is red-pilled. Now, I don't have a huge gripe with red-pillers, but the problem is when you're devoid and disconnected of real experience with women, you don't talk to women. Why are you talking about women constantly online? You can have your opinions on why women do the things they do. You can have your opinions on what women are like. If you're devoid of real experience with them and you're just complaining about them online, that's when the problem arises. Because these people, they again, are talking about something they have no real experience with. They don't talk to women, they don't interact with women. So how can they speculate or theorize what women are like, what they really want in a man, why they are the way they are, all the rest. Because it's that experience that gives us a reality check that is able to expose the flaws in our ideologies, the flaws in our beliefs, the theories we form. And it's why these people who claim to know so much about women have such bad luck with women. And if you interact with these people in real life, you'll know that they're pretty socially awkward. They're a bit off, they're pretty weird. And it goes back into that whole intellectual archetype. These people who are in one confined space, maybe their bedrooms, and that's where they come up with their theories about these systems, whether it be the capitalist system, whether it be about women that they do not interact with, and why their beliefs become so extreme at times. It's because, again, they don't have that reality check. They don't have experience that exposes the flaws in their ideologies, in their theories, in their beliefs. They're living in their own worlds right now. But if they actually got out, if they actually interacted with the things that they claim they know so much about, 
then their beliefs would become much more refined, much more moderate. I'll give you an example. I one time met this guy at retail. He was killer with the women. He was great with the women. I was even talking to him one time and I said, hey, I have a crush on this one girl. Could you help give me some advice? And he's like, oh, you mean Samantha? And as she passed by, he shouted out to her and she had the biggest smile on her face because she knew him and she liked him. All of the women there knew him and he was that killer with the women. And when I talked to him about women, he had a red pill mindset. He believed many of these same things that these people People online do but the difference was he was not isolated and forming his opinions online about them he was actually out there talking to women and his beliefs formed for different reasons too these people who form their beliefs alone in their bedrooms it's commonly a coping mechanism while for the guy who was amazing with women his beliefs formed from experience real life experience with women and out of necessity because again his beliefs, his views were much more instrumental. They were designed to help him. They weren't designed to cope, to make himself feel better about being in his situation. They weren't for that reason. And if you've ever actually interacted with these people in real life, these people who are chronically online, they're alone, they're isolated. What you see is that they are awkward. They don't take care of their looks. They don't present themselves well. They are that weird stereotype, it's true. But again, it goes back into that whole intellectual stereotype, which is they're disconnected, they're in their bedrooms, they're just reading and theorizing, rather than actually living out in the real world with the things that they theorize, whether that be systems or people. And that also causes them to become socially awkward or weird. It all feeds into itself to create this stereotype. That again, is true. It's that alienation and isolation that lack of experience that causes them not only to become socially awkward and weird, but also to form these far out there beliefs that are disconnected from reality. And that's why they're much more extreme. So in my opinion, you have to go out and get that experience. And if what you believe is true, you'll just end up at the same exact beliefs. Okay, I don't mind that. But just don't believe these things out of a cope or due to alienation. If you're going to speculate about something, you actually have to test those theories by interacting with it. And that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I got more videos just like this. And for those who are returning, I'm trying to make videos faster, which means the quality will be reduced. They're not going to be as good. They're probably going to be even more gaming videos. But let me know what you think. I just can't practically make high quality edited videos at a fast pace that's able to keep me up with the algorithm. So that's why I'm swapping over to this style. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Anyways, have a good one.